Wido. My name is Shiori Kato. I'm 25 years old. I hate my father. My father works for a famous company and is quite high ranking. As a worker, he's seen as outstanding. But behind closed doors, he's a good for nothing deadbeat. I earn the money around here, so I get to see how to use it. You can't live without me, so don't you dare go against my word. My father has a habit of saying that he is the head of the household, and we are the ones being fed. He doesn't help with the chores, and he spends money like crazy. Because of this, he didn't give enough money to the rest of us. What are you knitting? A sweater for you. It was rare for my mother to buy any personal items for herself, and I barely got any allowance. Naturally, my mother did her best. Even though my father wanted appreciation for his work, he never once showed any appreciation for my mother. On top of that, he had an affair in the past. Of course, my mother went on a furious rampage. <laughs> Wait, let's talk this out, yeah? Since then, my father has calmed down. He's less imposing than he used to be, so he's probably having another affair. Hello? Who am I speaking with? I don't have any evidence, but I know. My father is just that type of man. No one knows my father's true nature, except us. Good morning. Even if you call it a split personality, he seems nice on the outside, so others around him adore him. And thanks to that, he was selected as town councilman last year. For a man like him to be chosen, I thought it was the end of the world. <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing, just feeling melancholic. The guy who looks like he's worried about me is Daiki Azuma. He's also 25. It's been three years since we started dating. I met him at a college lecture we both took. Hey, do you like mystery novels? Uh, yeah. I was the one who initiated the conversation. During our lectures, he never paid attention and was always reading a book. I already thought he was good looking, but what he was reading intrigued me as well. I love this author. They don't write much, so as soon as their books come out, I make sure to buy them. Hey, me too. We got good taste. We shared the same interests and hit it off with each other, so we spent more time together, even outside of lectures. Wow, look at the time. Yeah, it's gotten late. Ready to head home? Yeah. If I go home, my father will be there. To me, home is just an uncomfortable world. That's why I ended up depending on Daiki. I don't want to go home. Huh? Those days continued, and shortly after, we started dating. He was kind and grateful of even the smallest things, and if he did wrong by me, he'd sincerely apologize. Since he was that great a boyfriend, we didn't have any big bumps in our relationship, even after we graduated and started working. My father is the complete opposite. He's never grateful, nor does he apologize. I hate my father. Why? Because at home, he... Daiki always silently listened to my complaints. He would silently listen without passing judgment on me or my father. I thought he was kind for that. I feel like if I had someone like Daiki at home, I could live stress-free. We appreciate and treat each other well. That'd be the ideal family. So that's why. I want you to marry me. I had no reason to turn down his proposal to me a month ago. <sighs> Another sigh. Don't you feel down? You're going to my house, you know. Why would I? We're getting married, so naturally I have to greet your family, right? It's not that. You have to meet my father. That father. Yep. My father thinks of me and my mother as property. Every time I came home late from our dates, I would get yelled at. Well, I ignored him, but... Even if you ask for my hand in marriage, it won't be that easy. That's why in the beginning he shouldn't come, and we should just get the registry in order. But he just said... Even if you say that, family is family. Even if we try to back out of seeing him, we'll get involved some way or another. And said it so naturally. Family. If I didn't have that word binding us, I could escape from that man. Not just me, but my mother could escape from her suffering as well. We're here. The time has come. 
Daiki and my father are going to meet. I'm always grateful to your daughter. This time I'd like to- You. You're the good-for-nothing bastard that's always dragging my daughter around. Whatever you're going to say, my daughter's not gonna do it. I'm not accepting the two of you dating anytime soon, either. Hurry up and get out of here, you piece of crap! As soon as Daiki started talking, my father was having none of it, and spoke to him in a high-handed manner. However, Daiki was not intimidated. Father-in-law, I'd like to marry Shiori-san. I told you, my daughter won't do it! Fine, I'll leave. But is it really okay for me to leave? I told you to get out a bunch of times already! Since I came to meet you, I prepared a gift for you. Daiki took a box out from his bag. You sure are shallow, thinking you could win me over with gifts. Sorry, but I'm not gonna trouble myself with that. Actually, it's the opposite. This gift is stuffed with troublesome things. Troublesome things? My father thought he was being made a fool, but his expression changed in an instant when he opened the box and checked the contents. He stared at the inside of the box with wide eyes. Once again, my name is Daiki. I've come to ask for your permission to marry Shiori-san. I gave you this present because I wanted to get to know Shiori-san's family a bit more. Whoa! Of course, we are old enough to where we can get married without parental consent, but I would still like to have no objections from her family. What do you think? Oh! I said, what do you think? Good. I, I wish you both happiness. Phew, that's done and over with. What was in that box? It's something you asked me to do. Worked out better than I thought it would. One month earlier. <sighs> if I had the chance to marry you, it'd be great to cut ties with my father. Cut ties? Yeah. I want my mother and I to get away from him. I want to be free. Did your mother ever think about divorcing him? She thought about it, but my father is strongly opposed to it. There's no conclusive evidence for a divorce either. And even if she wanted to get evidence, my father kept all the money, so her hands were tied. Gathering proof of an affair isn't easy. My father became especially cautious after becoming the town councilman. Okay then, leave it to me. Hmm? What are you gonna do? I won't do anything bad. I'm a pro at investigations. That's right. After graduating, Daiki started working at a detective bureau. He personally went out of his way to do a background search on my father. It seems like he gave the results of his findings to my father in that box. It's best you don't know what was in the box. Huh? There were a lot of disgusting things he'd done. I didn't ask about the details, but it seems like it wasn't just proof about an affair. There was some evidence that could lead to him losing his job as a town councilman. Daiki didn't release it to the public, but used it as a means to shield me and my mother from my father. Soon after that, my mother got a divorce. Unlike the last time, the divorce papers went through smoothly. Cheers! Proper division of property was also done, so it seems there won't be any living troubles. That's also thanks to Daiki. And we got married without any problems. We were able to have a small but happy wedding with our close friends, and my father out of the picture. My father lost the next election, and the people that once adored him scattered away like spiders. And now he's barely scraping by working at an acquaintance's factory. Daiki never released what was in the box publicly, so I bet his true colors were exposed at some point. A punishment for torturing us. I think it's a nice touch.